Hey guys, we're back with some more Eastside Hockey Manager, and I'm just in that kind of mood today, because <laughs> I rarely upload this thing, but I, sh I probably should. I probably should upload it more. It is, uh, it's a very interesting game, but again, it's uh, very time-consuming to do, because uh, again, we're, already, we're only in March of, uh, I, I mean, I know it's year three, but still, uh, I mean, this series has been going on for a long time, so I want to try to get year three done here. Okay, so we have 20 players dressed right now. Okay, so that's why Skiviar's uh, scratched along with the injury. But, uh, yeah, I'd imagine uh, Brodziak would probably be the one we scratch when Skiviar uh, gets all better. So let's try to get through March here. All right, so we got a game against the Bruins. 1-1, 2-2. Three two, okay. So we locked in oh yeah. Lost against the Bruins. Oh man, it's too early to be having uh too early in the video to be having these kinds of uh you know, tongue twisters, man. Uh, I mean not really a tongue twister, but my you know I I slur them and stuff, so okay, so uh, come on now. Just wanna. I just wanna get through uh, March and then maybe even through April, if we have the time. I think we will. We are going through this pretty quickly. So uh, Gianto reaches a career milestone. Oh, Flyers! <laughs> I thought he was. Uh, I thought he was with us still. All right. Well, that's good to know anyway. I don't know why uh, that showed up in our news, but that's okay. Two one, two two, three two. Jesus. Come on, boys. We can do better than that. <laughs> don't uh, don't want the season to go completely to uh, to the bottom of the toilet yet. Come on now. Blue Jackets. Oh, jeez. Two nothing. Two nothing. Oh, jeez. That's just great. Andy Green's injured. You know, it just keeps getting worse. There you go. Uh, okay, good. Schneider's in there. I thought I thought I saw Zakov in there for some reason. And we losing a shootout. What's new? All right. Uh, all right, good. He's only out for a few days, but he is. Uh, he does have a lower leg contusion, so who are we gonna put there? You know what? Let's just ask coach. Uh, that only fills in that. Uh, we'll put... I guess we'll put Jelena there. There you go. Nice game against the Flyers there, 6-3. Oh, that's a game I would expect us to win there, given their record. Uh, oh, okay, uh, Skivio is back. So... Before the next game, we'll, uh, oh, jeez, Larson. We'll, uh, replace Brodziak with Skivier. Uh, media focuses on Crosby. When are they not focusing on Crosby, honestly? Uh, okay, so, she's Adam Larson. And then, uh, back to Andy Green there. And scratch Brodziak, put Skivier in. Best lines, and they have McLeod on defense. No, thank you. Uh, put McLeod back on the fourth line, and we will give Severson some extra time on the third defensive pair. Hold on, hold on. How many games has, uh, has Schneider played? Oh, wow, yeah, we'll give him a break here. So, tactics. Zatkoff, get in there for a few games. There you go. Latera and Jelena, Mike Green, Boucher and Kobetsky, very nice. 5-3 against the Maple Leafs. They're actually a pretty good team too, 39-24-5. Uh, Alright. Penguins have a new head coach, Todd Nelson. Uh, Adam Larson's coming back soon, that's good. We need him. 2-0, Jelena and Sutter. <laughs> but then of course... Uh, uh, Jensen and uh, Hayes come back for the Sabres, and then Molson, and then, no, jeez, Damon Severson's injured. 
what else? What else is new with this game? Uh, all these, uh, all these injuries. Unfortunately, there's no uh, injury settings that I can, you know, uh, change the uh, amount of times that injuries happen. So, all right, Severson's out for a week with sprained wrist. Jeez, come on now. Uh, it is not a severe injury though, so he can still play. Uh, we'll keep him dressed, and I'm actually going to dress Adam Larson as well, so that Severson doesn't get further injured by playing extra time. Uh, I'll put Zakoff back in there. Schneider had a pretty long run of games there, so you give him a break. Alright, Komarov reaches milestone. I don't know why I'm getting all those uh, messages there, but again, okay, that's good to know. I guess for commentary reasons. Uh, okay, so we have the wild coming up here. Uh, first period, here we go. 2-1, Henrique and Sutter, very nice. Uh, Camilleri scored for us in the second period and the third period. Very nice, Camilleri again, and McLeod. All right, so we're currently sitting in 12th in the Eastern Conference, 33-29-7. Uh, and seven. Larson's back to practice, very nice. Uh... Flames have a new head coach. A lot of uh, a lot of new head coaches here. I think I saw Mike Johnston as well. The uh, isn't he uh, the Penguins' current coach in real life? That'd be uh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so a bunch of these uh, rookie offers for for the juniors. <sighs> Man, I'm really hoping uh, all of our prospects can uh, really grow in this game. Uh, Brodziak suffers. All right, he's not a part of the main lineup though. So there you go. <laughs> uh, Zakoff against uh, the Penguins again here. This will probably be his. Yeah, that's uh, Zakoff's had enough. <laughs> we'll put Schneider back in there. Already on March nineteenth. Uh, new Devils top points from left winger Reed Boucher, sixty-six points. Ooh, he's uh, he's getting it done. It looks like uh, tactics. Uh, Zakov get back in the backup position. Uh, let's let's check this stats out for a sec here. So yeah, Reed Boucher, 66 points in 70 games. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, he's really progressing. It looks like, um, although his stats don't show it, or uh, his uh, his attributes anyway. But uh, his stats right here are definitely showing it right here. So uh, I mean, you know, in the time of this. A GM mode, he had 18 points his first season, and then his second season got injured, it looks like, with only 51 games played, but 43 points, uh, and then 70, this year 70 with 66, so uh, that's pretty good for Reed Boucher. Uh, Henrique, 56 points, not bad. Laterra, uh, 51 and 63, not bad. Mike Green, 40 and 68. Again, not bad for a defenseman. Andy Green, 36. Uh, Skeviar, he's been injured for a while, but still not bad. <laughs> Camilleri, he's been a little bit underproducing lately, so I don't know. Uh, what's his contract looking like? Th three years left. Uh, you know what? We might have to, uh, we might want to trade Camilleri at the deadline here because, uh, or not the deadline, the, uh, yeah, the draft. The deadline already passed. Uh, yeah, because he's getting older and he's starting to uh, underproduce here. Yeah, uh, only, only 33 points in 70 games. That's just not good enough for Camilleri, man. It's really not. Uh, okay, so there you go. There's all the stats there. Let's keep going. I want to. I really want to get March done, at least in this video. And we're already at uh, nine minutes, so. Oh man, come on now. Are we gonna miss the playoffs again? Alright, game against the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, come on, boys. There you go. Alright, we at least tied it, but they broke the tie in overtime. 4 3. Uh. Oh, Reed Boucher, 67 points. That's going to show up every time Boucher gets another point, by the way. so uh, Alright, game against the Flames. 
Oh man, we are not doing well. <sighs> that was a terrible game. Uh, Blue Jackets qualify for the playoffs, so the teams are starting to get in the playoffs now. It's good to know. <laughs> We're probably, to be honest, not in the race anymore at this point. Yeah, especially with that loss, I don't think we're in the race. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's no way we're in the race now. I mean, all these teams ahead of us, sure, they all have 81 points, but then we're at, sitting there at 74. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way we're making the playoffs. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that That's why I'm hoping our uh, prospects can improve. Uh, Mike Green has a new... Uh, new record for this GM mode anyway, or franchise mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, left winger, yeah, Reed Boucher. Game against the Flyers. There you go, Henry Kinskeviar, uh, Winnick, and Sutter. Very nice. I mean, honestly, I'd rather us lose at this point since we're not, uh, probably not going to be qualifying for the playoffs so we can get a better uh, draft pick. But, uh, you know, uh, draft picks in this game uh, are, are very different from the uh, NHL legacy draft picks. They're almost like uh, they're almost like uh, the NHL 16 draft, where you can, where it's uh, more random as to the potential of the players. Uh, so, and especially since this game, from what I heard, recycles players, uh, you know, recycles the retired players and puts them back into the draft except as different you know different names different birth dates all that all the general information but it pretty much recycles them uh, so let's let's tear out for three weeks that's just great uh, left winger center Henrique has 63 points new record for this for this uh, GM Maple Leafs qualify for the playoffs all right so we're gonna put Brodziak in there there you go Three nothing, uh, two three. Okay, we almost came back. Uh, Winnick and Skiviar scored there, but yeah. All right, so I, you know, I, I'm gonna make this a longer video. I just want to get through the regular season now. <laughs> we're close to, uh, we're close to it anyway. I'll, uh, I'll do the playoff simulation in the next video. Uh, oh, hold on, that's important. Uh, Grand Black, don't need you. Don't need you. Severson will get him signed. Ben Thompson, don't need you. Jacob Josephson will get him signed. Boucher, need you. Don't need you. Uh, we'll get him signed as well. All right, so Severson, we'll see if he'll sign first. Yeah, he does. He wants a lot of money too. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully he gets better. So uh, let's just give him a little less than he's asking for. There you go. Josephson, you know what, I'm going to hold off on you. Boucher, definitely need to sign him. Uh, okay, he doesn't want a whole lot of money, but he doesn't want to negotiate a new contract at the moment. Uh, and Stefan Mateau. Uh, there you go. All right. Uh, rookie of the Month is Sam Reinhart of the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Jordan Eberle is the Player of the Month. Best offensive player, Mikhail Granlund. Best defensive player, Henrik Lundqvist. There you go. And we have a game against the Carolina Hurricanes here. Sutter and Skeviar. Mike Green and Kopetsky. Very nice. Uh, so at least we're, uh, we're solid in 12th right now. <laughs> uh, oh, we got uh, board confidence update. Generally satisfied. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, top points from defenseman center. Uh, final rankings for the NHL draft and all the other drafts. So you know what? Hold on. Uh, let me send out the scout, the rookie scout. Hold on. Was this guy uh, Terreri? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was on. Yeah, because Corabois. Yeah, this is the draft. Uh, NHL entry draft. Intensive. There you go. And then uh, I'm pretty sure Glenn Dirk as well. Yeah, Glenn Dirk, there you go. Uh, intensive, there you go. All right. Okay. 
So yeah, this is going to be a longer video. We're already at around 15 minutes now. Uh, Severson signs new four-year Devils deal. Very nice. Mateau signs new Devils deal. Okay. Sutter, McLeod, Jacob Josephson's injured. What else is new? Uh, there you go, Henrique and Jelena uh, put us ahead in that game and won us that game. Josephson's out for two weeks. Jeez. Uh, oh my god. Freaking injuries, man. Nope, not Larson. Alright. Two two. Boucher, Boucher, Sutter and Kopetsky. We're starting to turn it on at the end of the season when it doesn't really matter. Oh man. Uh, typical devils, man. Uh Okay. So Blues qualify. Lightning qualify for the playoffs. 2-1, Skeviar scored. 3-2, McLeod scored. All right. Again, we lost that game, so yeah. And one game left. Uh, Jets, Canucks, Oilers, all in the playoffs. And I'll just get this one last game done, then we'll end the recording. Because it's going on pretty long now for a EHM video. Uh, Henrique and Camilleri, Skeviar, very nice. So 3-2 is the last game. We uh, At least we uh, went out on a good note this season. Uh, the Capitals, Red Wings, and Penguins are all in the playoffs. So it's going to be the Blue Jackets versus the Penguins, the Rangers against the Capitals, the Maple Leafs against the Red Wings, and the Bruins against the Lightning in the East. And then in the West is the Stars versus the Jets, Predators versus the Wild, Kings versus the Blues, and the Oilers against the Canucks. Uh, so there you go. That's the playoffs there. We can clear our roster now since we don't have any more games. And the, I would imagine the uh, uh, World Tournament is going on. Or uh, whatever that is. The, uh, hold on, let's see. Schedule. Is there any, uh, any tournaments going on? I don't think so, actually. It should show up uh, like an international tournament or whatever. But uh, anyway, that'll be about it for this episode of Eastside Hockey Managers, so I will see you guys in the next one.